So guys, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is officially unveiled by Samsung. If you are the one who thinking about buying Note 9, I'd like to point out a few things before you make that big purchase decision. So here are a 5 reasons why I won't buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in 2018. And also it depends on personal preference. If you want to buy it, then go ahead, it's a good device for most of the people. Having said that, let's get started. So the number 4 5 reason in the list is same screen resolution. Yeah guys, screen resolution is another important thing in a smartphone. Galaxy Note 9 sports the same 2960 by 1440 in a slightly bigger display. Both the phones have infinity display with bezels on top and bottom of the phone. Samsung could have tried removing that black space but then a notch was inevitable. If both smartphones are same, then I can buy the Note 8 for less price. So the fourth reason in the list is specification are almost the same. Yeah guys, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is not an innovation. It is iteration and improvement over the previous year model. Hence a lot of specifications are incrementally improved but there is no extraordinary new feature. Let me give you a few examples. Galaxy Note 9 has more storage capacity than the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Galaxy Note 8 had 64 GB, 1 to 8 GB and 200 and 56 GB variant and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has 1 to 8 GB and 512 GB storage capacity. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 had a 6.3 inch display. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 had a 6.4 inch display. And third, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has a slightly advanced camera with AI functionality plus a Bluetooth S Pen which is a point of selling of this device. So the third reason in the list is it is heavier than the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is a little bit heavier than the Note 8. To be exact, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 weighs 201 grams while the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 weighs at 195 grams. The second most important reason in the list is pricing. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is right now available in the market for 750 bucks, where the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is starting at $1000. This is a major difference in pricing. Even if we compare the launch date price of the Note 8 with the Note 9, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 started at $930 with incremental changes. This price bump is not justified. And the first reason in the list is this phone looks like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 for the previous year. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 looks almost similar to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the last year model. There is no major noticeable difference if both of the smartphones are staked against each other. If I am spending a hefty amount on a new smartphone, at least it should look like new and unique as well. This might not be a deal breaker for many people, but for me, it is. So guys, these were the 5 reasons why I won't buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Please let me know your thoughts. Are you going to buy the Note 9? Please let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, give this video video a huge thumbs up subscribe the channel for daily tech videos and camera comparisons having said that thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace out